What's up guys, welcome back to Cars, Cost and Technology. So huge day today for Corvette fans. As you all know by now, the 2023 C8 Corvette Z06 has finally been revealed. It is official. We've got a lot of information to go over today. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Let's talk about some of the specs here. It's available summer of 2022. So this car is right around the corner, uh, but let's talk about some of the numbers on the car and go over what we have to expect here. Now we already knew by a lot of the leaks and rumors and some of the teaser clips that the car was gonna have a flat plane crank engine, uh, but they have confirmed that it is is a naturally aspirated flat plane crank and it's putting out 670 horsepower so really impressive uh, power figure there from that type of engine configuration most people were thinking it's going to actually come in under the c7 z06 so the fact that the previous generation with 650 horsepower that was a supercharged um, pushrod v8 now going to 670 horsepower with a naturally aspirated flat plane crank dual overhead cam engine um, and for those of you that aren't super interested in engines just that's very impressive let's just leave it at that um, that's the actual most powerful naturally aspirated v8 engine in a production car i believe is what they said during the announcement so really cool that they were able to accomplish that i'm curious to see how they've managed vibration and other things that are known to come along with the flat plane crank platform but uh, nonetheless, it sounds amazing. I cannot wait to see how it performs. Uh, speaking of performance, they did point out that with the Z available Z07 package, the 0-60 to 60 time is 2.6 seconds. So that is extremely fast. Uh, I know some of you are probably thinking that Stingrays have done that uh, out in real world with the onboard timer feature. But keep in mind that that may not be the most accurate um, when you're talking about a manufacturer doing testing it's going to be a little more precise and chevrolet actually rated the stingray at 2.9 seconds so the fact that they're rating the z06 at 2.6 those three tenths of a second that's a, a ton more effort put in to start shaving those additional tenths off and again that's extremely fast now they do have a really helpful site here you can check out and again i'll have this in the um, description below but we've got all the specifics about um, you know how they configured this flat plane crank engine the 670 horsepower 2.6 seconds 0 to 60 time um, 1.22 g's uh, i mean that's just crazy type handling and grip um, you can also see that the red line on the engine is going to be 8600 rpms i think we knew that based on that little teaser clip that was released but um, that's 2000 rpms higher than the red line on the stingray and again that this thing just screams i mean it sounds like to me it sounds like a street bike i'm a big fan of motorcycles so i love that exotic um, high-end race sound or like a f1 car Taj even mentioned in the reveal video that the tolerances on this engine are like race spec so obviously they have to be very precise they've got titanium connecting rods forged aluminum pistons um, they've, they've done a lot to make sure that this is built properly um, they're getting the most power out of it and of course, that sound is incredible. I'm going to have some clips of the exhaust here in just a second. So take a listen to the Z06 scream with that new beautifully uh, constructed quad exhaust tips in the center. So another cool thing that I'm excited about in addition to obviously the flat plane crank being the main focal point is the Z07 package for this car makes it look extremely aggressive. You've got a huge carbon fiber wing, carbon fiber ground effects. There's a lot more carbon fiber options I've noticed as well from the interior to new carbon fiber wheels. Uh, we saw a leak of those a little while back, but I'm actually kind of surprised they're bringing those to production. Uh, that's going to be a really cool option. Looking forward to seeing those in person. I'm sure they're going to be pretty expensive, but they do reduce the unsprung weight or uh, the wheel mass weight by 41 pounds. So really impressive there. Uh, but they did widen the car. It's 3.6 inches wider than the uh, Stingray just to fit in the wider tires and wider stance. Uh, you're looking at 345 tires on the back. So those are really, really wide tires. I also want to point out that you do have access to go ahead and design one now. So I'm going to make another video specifically going over designing the car, kind of playing around with the different configuration options. It does look like they've added some maybe new color combinations for the Z06 specifically. So looking forward to playing with this option and uh, kind of get an idea of all the different available specs and configurations, uh, whether it be the aero packages, new wheels, um, new interior colors. And, you know, the one of the focal points that stood out during the uh, initial photo that was released that day that there was all the hype around the Z06 was the uh, wishbone or whatever you want to call it off to the side, that trim piece on the air intake. 
And to be honest with you, now seeing it um, in, in more angles and more colors, just like I suspected, I really don't mind it. I know initially a lot of people were unhappy with the way that that looked, um, wish that they had removed that design element. I don't hate it anymore. I, I didn't necessarily hate it that day that we saw the, the photo, but I was a little confused as to why they chose that specific model or that spec to show off first. So I am happy now to see it in some, some more color combinations um, with some uh, more aggressive aero packages. I think that the uh, wishbone or shark's tooth or however you want to refer to that air intake on the side, uh, I don't think that that looks bad in carbon flash. I know some people have said they want to do that in body color so it blends in a little bit better. It doesn't stand out quite like it does in carbon flash. But again, uh, now seeing it in more angles, I'm, I'm actually a fan of it. Uh, let me know your thoughts below. Are you, is that growing on you? I know initially that was a very controversial point on the Z06. But uh, anyway, guys, that's some of the big picture information. Again, we've got some big confirmations coming out of today's reveal. 670 horsepower, 0 to 60 miles an hour in 2.6 seconds. Going to be available summer of 2022. Um, we're looking at as far as pricing, unfortunately, we don't have any specifics. Uh, I was really hoping to hear some more details on pricing, but unfortunately, to my knowledge, they did not share anything specifically. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled and uh, keep an eye out for some specifics on pricing to pass along. Uh, I would imagine that it's probably going to be starting in the high 80s to low 90s, but that's just a guess. Um, obviously, that's going to be completely base model before any of these expensive options. I would imagine that that uh, Z07 package and some of these other available options are going to get fairly pricey. But again, we'll keep an eye out for that. But anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are below. I got a lot more videos coming out today, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Tons of content information that we can discuss on this car. Uh, just again, a huge day for Corvette fans. We've been waiting for this for a while. This is a major step forward. And just to sort of close on, uh, not to take away the excitement from the Z06, but you can see how excited Taj is to say at the end of the reveal video that this is just one more chapter in a long story for the Z8 Corvette. So really excited to see what he meant by that. You know, we know that the e rays right around the corner. We know that the ZR1, uh, possibly the Zora. So a lot of good stuff to come, guys. I don't think that we have seen the best of what the Corvette team has yet, but this is, again, a major development and really exciting. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll talk to you next video. Have a great day.